Earth Echo International recognizes that young people are making a positive difference in the health of our planet by seizing opportunities to engage in their communities. Here in Inglewood, California, Earth Echo joins students from the Environmental Charter School that have developed an award-winning design for irrigating their school garden. Hi, welcome to Environmental Charter Middle School, Inglewood. We are the youngest of three campuses. Um, our campus is the largest as far as growing vegetables. We are walking through our beautiful garden here. Um, we are a school that teaches environmental issues through all of our core classes and we are very passionate about getting our kids out into the community and understanding global issues but drilling down really tight into how those issues affect them here in our community, especially here on our campus. So I'm going to introduce you to a few of my students that have come up with a really great WaterWise project. So today, our sixth graders who are building a mobile drip irrigation system out of a water issue need that they were able to identify as part of a competition through Generation Earth. So for the past six years, we had a drought here in sunny California, and we are trying to preserve our water sources and to save water. Yeah, and every day we have to water with um, watering cans by hand. Here we could see that the water gets on the leaves when we water with the watering can. And this will allow evapor evaporation to happen because the water are is on the leaves and the sun will evaporate it. And we could see here that it could like go into different places of the soil so that creates surface runoff. Yeah, and then our irrigation system, the hoses would be against the soil, which would not get the water on the leaves and it would save a ton of water. This is our project here. It's a portable um, irrigation system that we will be using around the campus because our um, water hoses are very far away from our raised beds, so we had to make a mobile irrigation system that won't be damaged on the playground. The problem was that we only have two hoses in our campus, one here and one all the way at the other side of the playground. And they are really far from where our middle garden is and our inside garden. So we had to find a better solution to water our plants faster and more efficiently. So our project here will be mobile and we'll have a water bucket that is not connected to the, the hoses. So we yeah. can just move it wherever and students won't break it. And if we put it underneath the concrete, that would take too much time and too much money to do that. So this is our solution. Yeah, and um, it could catch rainwater, and we can fill it from the hose. And it'd be easier because we water with, um, we hand water ourselves, and it takes like an hour for 30 students to water the whole garden. And our teacher, Ms. Tishanda, it takes her like six hours to finish during the summer when there's nobody here. They are painting this part with oil so it would withstand water damage. So when water gets on it, it's gonna, the wood is going to be fine. It's going to stay like this for a really long time. So we're not just going to leave it as a plank of wood. We're going to put wheels on it, like something like this, so we can wheel around to our, all of our gardens. So it will be yeah. much easier and, and as fast as you see water. It would hold two five-gallon buckets, which would then have a tube, the, the um, soaker hoses that would go into the raised gardens and water, drip irrigate the plants. They get a lot of opportunities to take what they're learning and the knowledge that they have and build in service, uh, community service opportunities out in the world. 